Hello everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I am one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Now this is my wax one. It's just mine in this video today, um, but because uh, it's quite a long one, so I think it's about 14, 15 minutes long, this one. Uh, this was a really lovely uh, young man came through, teenage uh, chap, uh, been suffering with his ears for years, basically, and has been sitting on a, a waiting list uh, with the NHS here to get their wax removed. Back and forth the GP, nothing was really happening, so came along to clinic for us to do this for them today. My goodness, this was full for a teenager. Because yeah. a lot of the time when, I, when we see teens, um, as you are when you're a teenager, you tend to like have a lot of oil and you produce a lot of oil in your skin and stuff like that. So the wax mostly tends to be very thin, sticky, a bit like uh, the one of yours we saw on Monday, the first yeah. first year conversation on Monday, a really thick, sticky wax tends to be ever it shouldn't be. But this was so different because it's solid, absolutely solid, which is really unusual. Yeah. This poor, poor young man was really, really blocked up. Um, they've been throwing oil at this. Uh, and all sorts, but nothing's been really budging. They've been oiling this for months and months oh, and months. You can just tell it's been there for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's just got that consistency yeah. to it, isn't it? It almost goes that sort of reddy brown colour. Now, obviously, mm. we're working in a much, much smaller ear canal here. So you can see I'm having to go sort of almost right up behind the tools here to get this through. So we've got the Jobson horn in there just to try and break Ooh. this down. But look at that. That is Ooh, a, a good... Oh, it's just kind of sheared through. Yeah. yeah. Now that was the, the, the this was probably one of the most frustrating wax removals <laughs> I've done in a long time, just because it just didn't want. Look at that. Look at oh, that yeah. sort of groove you've put right down the middle of that now. Um, and sometimes this is what we say about curatage. It doesn't always work really well with some consistencies. This is that sort of hard on the outside, slightly soft on the inside, armadillo type wax we talk mm. about. Um, but you almost kind of want it the other way around, like yeah. soft on the outside and hard on the inside. Yeah, so that's the definitely. perfect one that, to, that would to pull be, away then. Definitely, definitely. But you can see at the moment, it's just sort of stretching it out of the ear canal. Um, <clears throat> but because it's a very small entrance to the canal as well, it's difficult to get the tools in there, get a huge amount of uh, maneuverability in there. But you can see that this is a little bit more mobile now. Mm. So I'm trying to push that in. It's, it's, just, pushing it it's just pushing it further back. So we've got to pull this back forwards again now. Oh, that's a tough one. That's to not an easy one to do, this one. Fair play, though. He was so good. He sat through the entire yeah. thing. And I, I tend to, with teenagers, we're talking about nonsense as we're doing it. Uh, you know, just any interest they've got, just to keep their mind off what we're doing in their ears. So you're kind of chatting away to them all the time to do this. But we, I forget what we were talking about. But it's, um, yeah, this is why it's moving around a lot in there. It's just, just a shell. Yeah, it's almost like kind of taking up the whole space in it. It is. Not... There was just no room to manoeuvre, and it, it, you just couldn't peel. I literally had to gouge the centre of the wax out, just sort of carve away through the middle. Uh, and it's olive oil going in here sort of every couple of minutes to get this out. Bit of a wiggle. Yeah. It's almost like you did a third hand sometimes, just to yeah. kind of like really pull the ear open, just was really, really wide. Yeah. You can see I'm moving it across from one side to the other just to try and get to the smoother under, underbelly of it. But it's just so perfectly formed to the shape of the canal because it's been there for so long that it just doesn't want to shift. Yeah, I've had plenty of these in the past. Like I said, really frustrating where you just, you're kind of hoping it as you start pulling with the jobs and horn, it'll just drag everything else yeah. with it and it's just not. <laughs> Sometimes you get in there and you'll see that kind of almost that turn of the entire plug will move. And you think, oh yeah, it's going, it's going. Uh, but yeah, didn't happen this one. <laughs> it's just really doesn't want to budge. If we're getting to the sort of end of it. I can see a gap you can yeah. see towards the uh, eardrum there. Now this is a good position to be in. Now sometimes this will be the bit that'll, that'll turn the tide a little bit. Just kind of usually turns the whole plug as yeah. well, usually, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice big piece. Yeah, it's chunky. I think it pulled it forward slightly because we've lost that gap now. Yeah. yeah, you can see it's a little bit mobile. Ooh. Yeah. If we can just get over the top there, I think we've got it. Oh no, look, there's more behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just what I wanted to see. <clears throat> but it's really, it's not, it, the, the oil is helping because it's helping it to slide, but it's also a bit of a double-edged sword because 
if you clip the top of it with a Jobson horn, you're pushing it further back and the oil has no resistance, so it's just sliding straight through. I'm trying to make the top shorter so I can get a bit more space to get beyond it. You can see how much that, that wax is sacking in the light as well. Yeah. Look like how dark the screen goes as soon as you get a picture of that wax. That's just how old this stuff is. <clears throat> this is years, sorry, I read by frog throat. This is years and years and years with the wax. We both had that today as well. <laughs> oh, that's oh, the one. Oh, that's one you saw that sort of spin. <clears throat> the whole thing's just turning around now. Let's get beyond this section. If I can just get over the top and pull this, the whole thing might come out. Yeah, don't go any further. Yeah. Don't go any further. <laughs> I think, I think there's a bit just sheared off. Look at the size of that plug though. No wonder this poor kid couldn't hear. Do you know what I mean? It was so blocked up, bless him. How were they after the wax <clears throat> No, they couldn't go over the difference. Yeah. They couldn't go over the difference. My mum was, um, a lot, your parents always say the same thing. When you say, right, all done, they always say, how can you hear now? And they, he couldn't get over how much more he could hear going on around him. Like we've, at, at the moment, it's been quite warm here in uh, in the UK, uh, for us anyway. Yeah. Um, and it's, we've had fans going in the rooms to keep everyone nice and cool. And a lot of patients will suddenly hear the fan. It'll click yeah. and they'll go, oh, I can hear. And they, they can hear the difference in straight away. Yeah, I sometimes have the same thing with the, um, the suction machines that we use. Yeah. As soon as, it, as, soon as you create a gap <clears> or take <throat> the wax out, they just go, Yes. Oh, oh I can hear that now. I can hear that buzzing. <laughs> <no? laughs> this is still the same ear canal. This is still the same plug. This 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 one was full front to back. Absolutely chock-a-block. Absolutely chock-a-block. Don't forget, guys, if you do have any issues with your ears, and uh, especially wax, yep. <laughs> just... Uh, Follow the link in our bio to the website. Uh, there's some details of the clinics that we run. Um, give us a call. Um, you know, our staff are great. They'll give you the times and dates of what we've got available. Uh, yeah, don't delay it. Yes, uh, come and see us, guys. This might happen to you. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, if you've got, the thing is, a lot of people put off their hearing issues. If they've got hearing issues, a lot of people will sort of put it off until they're really, really blocked up. Whereas if you come in, you know, if you start to get symptoms, you come in, it, it, you can get <laughs> down, down wax. It's, um, it's just really, um, it, makes it, a lot, it makes our job a lot easier than yeah. it to get it out. It's more pleasant for the patient as well. I think we're getting to the end of this now. There you go. There can't be any more. There's still <laughs> there more in there. Anymore, there yeah. you go. Like This was loads, absolutely loads and loads and loads. I think you're drawing this from the other ear. <laughs> so Do you know, I down. might well have been. It's going to be easy, wouldn't it? Take it out from the other side. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Look at that. There we go. Compared to that, which is obviously what we could see to start with, that is so much better. Yeah. Surprisingly looking nice and um, like clear yeah. as well. We normally see a lot of... Uh, like inflammation or yeah. irritation with, you know, wax has been there for a long time. That was surprisingly quite pain. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty it? good. I think because they've been using olive oil as a treatment for a long time, I think it's just been softening the edges. So as you're not, you're not, not having that irritation of the wax constantly rubbing against yeah. the side of the canal wall. Uh, but this is exactly the same on this side. Uh, so you can see this one, it, it just looks exactly the same. Uh, it's just tough as old boots. It yeah. just does not want to budge. Here comes the jobs and horn again. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, you can always like, share, heart, subscribe, follow, thumbs up. Somebody in the comments said they did that on purpose because I told them not to do it. That's not very nice, is it? That's not very nice, people. It's terrible, terrible people. <laughs> uh, yeah, thumbs up if you don't mind, guys. Watch I've said that now. Watch everybody now is going to do that <laughs> on the videos. Um, um, Shame. The, yeah. Shame. Shame. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the reason we ask you for a thumbs up or for a like is because it helps to feed back to the algorithm of wherever platform you watch this on to say that people are actually enjoying the video. So it pushes it out to more people. So more people to get to see lovely, lovely wax removals. And we get a larger community as well, yeah, which is lovely. Which is always nice for us. It's always nice for us. Uh, so we're just giving this, uh, well, I'm trying to maneuver. I'm trying to get an edge or something to work with on here. That's what I was just going to say. I would probably aim towards that little corner piece yeah. and try and twist it because it looks like it's about to. It's about to turn. Yeah. It? It's a really odd. It's like a thick clay consistency uh, of wax. This type of this type of uh, this type of wax. I think you're lucky in this case though that the cilia is not very long. Oh, in this yeah. year. That would be an absolute nightmare oh, that would to do be if, tough. If, 
the cilia is the hair inside the ear. Um, vision is like twice, even three times more difficult to, yeah. to see what you're doing. Um, especially in especially in smaller ear canals. So younger yeah. people, you know, older people who who've, who have ear canals, the entrances are starting to sort of collapse over a little bit. Ah, oh, so so hard, isn't it? When those cilia crisscross, and you can't. Like lots of people say, well, when, "Why don't you trim the hair when you cut the hair?" Um, it's really difficult to cut cilia. Uh, you know, if it's if it's the thicker, you know, ear hair. Yeah, but with the cilia, it's imagine like um, peach fuzz. It's that kind of can, you can't really trim it. It doesn't really work. This is the Rosen inserter in here as well now, guys. But it's this is this consistency is kind of like the Rosen inserter's kryptonite. It just pulls yeah. straight through it, doesn't it? Just tears a little rip through. The yeah, center. yeah. So I've washed, well, not washed. I've, I've flooded it with olive oil again now, just to try and get some movement here. But it's just the wrong shape, unfortunately, to get out. So I've got to break it down in this entrance. Yeah, it's coming away in a bit, so no. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh. Oh, sorry. They are so frustrating they, when you can see them moving, but they're just not coming out. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. Been there a few times. It's just it's, <clears throat> and there's that free range of movement there <clears throat> that makes it really, really hard. I think we have to have a cup of tea after this. One. We have to have a little. I do. Yeah, after I think um, <laughs> it makes it really, really. Yeah. <laughs> Just have like those time out like in a boxing match. You're gonna go back to my corner, or sh back out you, again. You need one of those running. Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, like those rucksacky things. Yeah, got a little straw. Yeah. <laughs> but then carry on. Yes, but we'll have to do the next time we go a long one, like <laughs> like nine hundred, but there's like an hour long video or something. We'll have to do it for that one. Um, so I've brought the big guns out now. I've brought the same bar took out, and it's just torn straight through the middle of it. It's just this, this wax is impervious to curettage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's see if we can so in, in some cases, you are kind of better off just doing that and trying to break this up in little pieces because yeah. at least you'll start clearing some space like yeah. you just did there. Now there's a lot more space now, hopefully, for this to manoeuvre. This, this is the first time me seeing this video as well, guys. I've, I'm in the same position as you at the moment. It's uh, almost as frustrating for me as it is for you as well. <laughs> it is. I mean, it, what I will do sometimes with these is pull them forward enough to wedge them into the ear canal entrance. Yeah. So then you can get the jobs and horn over the top and just scoop. Yeah. Uh, but this one's just the wrong shape. It's just too mobile. It just won't wedge in the canal entrance either. Uh, it's just a... Uh. Or just all you did in the other ear and just kind of try and whack it out. <laughs> just just keep hitting it on the head with the jobs. <laughs> not. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, we could do that. We don't turn anybody's patience to the side and try and <laughs> the wax out. It's, it's... Yeah. It's, we're gonna have to try that. Stand on one leg, tilt the other one side, jump up and down on the spot, see if that works. You grab one leg, I'll grab the other. <laughs> Shake it out. Oh, that that might do it. That might do it. Oh, oh. I think that just spun. I, didn't yeah. it? I don't think it actually came I, out. Or oh, did it? Oh. oh, I don't know. I did this. I can't even remember. Oh, well, that was so quite stretched. Ah, it's wedged yeah. out. That's what we want to see, that wedge in the ear canal there. You got really lucky there, because even just that kind of spin sometimes just stays with it. Yeah, <laughs> just turns it in the ear canal, yeah. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I actually used a St. Bartok. Do you know what? I, I haven't used one for ages. And then um, I saw this particular patient. I think I saw another one I used a St. Bartok on as well recently. So I've, uh, I've I, it's had a couple of outings. Just like blow the dust off, <laughs> blow the dust off them, <laughs> off they go again. <laughs> have you got a favourite? Have you got a favourite curatage tool? Have you got you, you sort of go to? I, I, it's, it's it is between the Jobs and Horn and the uh, Rosen inserter. I yeah. do, I do, I do like a cheeky Rosen inserter. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think it's it's quite a useful little tool. I think it's uh, yeah, Jobs and Horn. I sometimes I really struggle with the angle with the Jobs and Horn. All it, looks it, yeah, there. it has to be the right consistency though for, yeah. the, for the Rosen inserter. You can't do it with soft wax. No, no. It has to be dry and hard in some occasions. I've got, I've got one. Oh my oh goodness my me, look goodness. at that. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Thank you very much. It was, it's, that was set, Joy. look at that. That was two, two and a, I don't even know, what's that in inches? I got to tell you at the side, two and three quarter? 
Yeah, yeah, three quarters, two yeah. and three quarter inches, seven, seven, seven centimeters. centimeters worth of wax came out both those years. That was a beastie of a removal. You can see all the debris as well on the paper towel, the olive oil on there. That's everything. Yeah, look at that. Well, we're going to go and have a glass of water now, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a cheeky cider, one of the two. <laughs> I can't, I'm still in the clinic at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I can. I'm done for the you day. <laughs> right, guys, well, thanks very much for that video today. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And me and Teo, see you again on Friday. Bye, everyone. Bye.